after 10 long months, John Wu has now released the next big version of his super user tool for Android called Majisk. This update brings the version of Majisk to 26.0, and with it comes some highly requested changes along with a new minimum version of Android. The bad news for those still running Android 5.0 is Majisk version 26.0 will not work for that version anymore. To be fair, the developer says that support for Android Lollipop has been pretty broken for a while, but this has gone somewhat unnoticed due to the fact that so few people are actually running a device with such an old build of Android. It doesn't help that the active developers of Majisk don't even own hardware that runs Android 5.0 anymore, which makes it even more difficult to fix those bugs. This has resulted in the latest version of Majisk not supporting Android 5.0, and will require you to update to version 6.0 or higher if you want to run the latest version of Majisk. This new release has also added a new implementation of its magic mount feature. This is what allows modules that you install to modify partitions, and it has gone through a major rewrite with version 26.0. The previous iteration didn't work well when some OEMs injected overlays into their system with the overlay FS. So the new method completely changes how file system mirrors are created. In return, this will give us a more accurate clone of the unmodified file system. Another major change in this update is the new SE policy rule implementation. This is the feature that allows Majisk modules to provide custom SE Linux patches by providing the file sepolicy.rule. However, patching SE Linux is quite complex and making sure the results are compatible has been hit or miss in some cases which resulted in many devices not even supporting the feature. But with version 26.0 of Majisk, there's a brand new pre-INIT partition detection feature that allows for more devices to be supported. Just don't expect this feature to work when you're using a custom recovery because of how this detection mechanism is set up. Zygisk has also received a big update with version 4 of the API going official. This means that there are some new features that developers can leverage while also improving the PLT function hook API. This new API update has also had some major rewrites and has added new code for loading and unloading. Developers of Majisk modules should take a look at the new API and the new documentation as soon as possible. These aren't the only changes happening with version 26.0 of Majisk. The full change log also mentions some bug fixes for Zygisk, added support for Amonet, microloader devices, and adds support for replacing existing RC files in overlay.d. There has been some major improvements to patching the boot image files with this update as well. With major changes that fix issues on Android 14 Preview, as well as adding support for patching the INIT boot image file, in Samsung's firmware. Majisk stub patching is now 100% offline. 
and this update has fixed a minor bug when it comes to parsing command line arguments. So now that you know all of the changes that have happened with version 26.0 of Majisk, let's talk about how to update it to the latest build. The first thing that you should do is open up the Majisk app application to check and see if there is an update waiting for you. This update has just been released and it is technically considered a beta right now. So you may not even see that there is one waiting for you yet. If you do though, then you can tap the update button that replaces the install button in the top card here. However, if you don't see this update is waiting for you and you want to try out the beta version right now, then we can dive into the settings area, change the update channel from stable to beta, and then go back to the main app. From here, we can update the application itself. And then once it's updated, we can open it up. And then we can update the Majisk binaries. We're gonna be choosing the direct install method right here. And once it's done patching with the new update, we're gonna tap the blue reboot button down here at the bottom. Now, if you still don't see an update button, then your best option is to flash the Majisk binaries like you normally would. This will either mean that you'll need to manually patch the firmware from within the updated version of Majisk, or you'll need to boot into your custom recovery and flash the newly updated Majisk build. I'm running Lineage OS right here. So this means that I would boot into Lineage Recovery and then flash version 26.0 of Majisk that I have downloaded from the official GitHub page. And I'll include a link to that GitHub page down in the video description below. However, if you're running stock recovery, then that means you'll need to patch the firmware file like you did before from within the updated version of the Majisk app. And then after you patch it, you're going to flash it either in fastboot mode or in download mode. You can see that now the app here is on the latest version, 26.0, and the Majisk binaries that are installed are also to the latest build, 26.0. Now, assuming there aren't any major bugs present in this release, it usually only takes a week or two of beta testing for John Wu to push the latest beta of Majisk up to the stable channel. So if you're not wanting to switch to the beta like I did in today's video, then you can wait a little bit and update the binaries from within the app, just like I showed you here. Let me know if you run into any issues with updating Majisk on your device, and I'll do my best to help out where I'm able to.